First at seven, a police raid at the home of former GOP state senator Frank Artiles. It all comes as authorities continue to investigate whether or not he manipulated the results of the latest state senate election. Artiles is suspected of funding a sham candidate who likely swayed the race. This morning, police carried out several boxes from the former state senator's Palmetto Bay house. And that's where CBS 4's Bobeth Yates joins us from this evening with the latest details. Bobeth. Well, that's right. The state attorney's office spent hours coming in and out of the home behind me, as you just mentioned, bringing out boxes and all kinds of information. And they say it all has to do with campaign financing concerns. Falsifying campaign finance reports, that's a crime. Election attorney Carlos J.C. Palanis represented former Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez in his recount of the November 2020 election against Alex Rodriguez and Elena Garcia. Jose Javier Rodriguez lost by just 34 votes. And Wednesday, the state attorney's office confiscated evidence of potential foul play in the election. On our investigation, we realized Alex Rodriguez was someone who owed money to many people in town. And then when you look at the fact that Alex Rodriguez didn't really have a campaign, it was a political committee that basically did the ads for him against Jose Javier Rodriguez. The raid was done on the home of former state senator Frank Artiles, who has been under investigation for several months regarding his possible involvement in planting Alex Rodriguez as a straw candidate in the race. Our partners at the Miami Herald reported Artiles bragged that he was the one responsible for getting Alex Rodriguez on the ballot. And as officials removed boxes from Artiles' home, neighbors watched in disbelief. Tremendous surprise. Solid, solid individual in the neighborhood, no doubt. Great neighbor to have. And those like Plantis hope the current investigation will uncover who financed this entire operation. That money obviously came from somewhere and was directed to be placed in this race by someone. Now we also reached out to the Senate office to see how this impacts the actual Senate race. Well, we're told that it does not and that that race has been certified. So regardless of what happens in this investigation, the results stand. Live in Miami, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News.